What's up, Ravens fans? We're a couple weeks into training camp, and we want to hear from you guys for this week's Ravens mailbag. First preseason game tomorrow night. Yeah. We're fired up about that. Lots of questions. The first one is from Austin Eagle. The question here is, do you think the left guard position will be taken by a player already on the roster, or do you think the Ravens will bring in a veteran to fill that spot? I think it'll be somebody that's already on the roster. The Ravens have a really tight competition on the offensive line to begin with. You know, Greg Sinat is a player that I look at. Really high ceiling, high potential. Can they find a, a spot for him on the roster? I don't think they want to lose him. So when you're that tight, I don't see them adding another veteran from the outside to compete there. And you still have really three very serious options for the left guard. You have James Hurst, you have the rookie Ben Powers, and the guy at the top of the depth chart right now, Jermaine Illuminar. So to me, you've been working with those guys all offseason. You know, you just traded a, an offensive lineman, Alex Lewis. Are so you going to trade for another veteran? I mean, how different is he going to be from Alex Lewis? So to me, it's going to be one of the three players that they already have on the roster. I think James Hurst is a player who's obviously proven that he can play that position. To me, he's the safe kind of fallback option if, if one of those other guys, two guys, don't rise to the occasion. Ben Powers, it looks like to me they're giving him almost the Orlando Brown treatment that they gave Orlando last year, where they gave him a lot of run time with the first team, see how good they can get him. Is he ready to start week one? Maybe not, but at some point this season, I wouldn't be shocked if Ben Powers is starting. So. I think it'll be one of those three options. I think that week one, it will be one of those three guys that makes a start at left guard, but I could also see the Ravens adding a veteran offensive lineman to this mix. I mean, they've done this in past years. I look like a guy like Luke Bawanku, if you remember a few years ago, right at the, there. yeah, exactly. Right at the end of the preseason before the 53 man rosters were set, they got him from Jacksonville. That was a depth move. It wasn't adding a starter. They, they have added a starter way back when. They haven't done that in recent years. I just think that there could be some guys that get cut from other teams that may be a veteran who they say, this is a guy that's a, a good player who could come in and start some games. I'm not saying they're going to sign a guy a week before the first game and he's going to be inserted in at, at left guard to start the season, but I think that they could add somebody who ends up starting a game or so over the course of the year. I'm going to bet against you. All right, we'll see how that goes. All right, next <laughs> question. This one comes from Brent, and Brent wants to know, I haven't heard anything recently about Justice Hill since the draft. How is he looking? We always get questions about Justice Hill, the rookie running back, fourth rounder, speedster. I think that over the course of training camp, he's been a little bit quiet, and I think that that's partly because he's not getting the reps with the first team, like a guy like Mark Ingram and, and Gus Edwards and Kenneth Dixon has looked really good during training camp. So I don't think Justice Hill is struggling, but I just think that there's a lot of competition in that running back group, and I think that he's a little bit lower on the depth chart compared to those other guys. He did make one play in the second day of joint practices that really stuck out to me, and that was they kind of cleared out the right side for him. He came around, caught a ball, and when you get Justice Hill in space with the ball in his hands, whew, he's a tough guy to bring down because he's just so quick yeah. and fast. Uh, so that, that really kind of opened my eyes to that's the role that he's going to play this year. He's not going to play a big role, I don't think, in the offense, but get the ball in his hands sometimes in space, provide a change of pace. Maybe he's a kick returner, potentially. Uh, to me, that's what Justice Hill does as a rookie. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. All right, let's finish up today. The final question comes from Zach Chap, and the question here is, what's your honest review of the starting secondary during training camp? Yeah, I think it's been really good. Marlon Humphrey looks locked down. Uh, Brandon Carr is his own steady self. Tavon Young, the same thing. Jimmy Smith has been good. Now, he did have a rough day in the second uh, joint practice. Did get beat on a long play, but you know what? That's going to happen every once in a while. You're going to get beat. And that, I mean, you can talk about the Ravens secondary and how good it is. Earl Thomas has stood out during training camp for sure. Tony Jefferson. I mean, but all these guys are going to get beat. That's how the NFL works. When, when they're throwing the ball that much, they're going to give up plays. But I don't see them giving up a lot. Uh, so I'm not worried about the secondary. In fact, the, the opposite. I'm very encouraged by what I see from the secondary. You know what I've liked is that Earl Thomas, over the course of training camp, seems like he's starting to insert himself a little bit more. He's come through. He had some big hits during Jags practices. He had the big hit that everybody was talking about so in the stadium practice. One, one Jags player. You just saw at the end of the play, one Jags guy <laughs> just on his butt, like careening into the sideline. I was like, oh, Earl Thomas just tossed that big guy. Yeah, and, and I just think that players are so excited that he's on the team. Like, he just has that kind of mentality where other guys flock to him and they sort of follow him. He's the Pied Piper of that defensive backfield, I think. And, and I think that he's going to be a really good addition for this team. Yeah, definitely agree. All right, so that's all the time we have questions for. But that first preseason game tomorrow night, if you're here locally, watch it on WBAL. Kickoff is at 730. That's it for us. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.